This is a rare look at the Israeli police force's special anti-terror unit, known in Hebrew as the Yamam. Members of this crack unit say they join to give back to society, to contribute, to sacrifice. The last thing they are looking for is headlines or glory. They say they simply want Israelis to be able to live a normal life in safety and security. The unit is, of course, top secret. It's considered one of the top five anti-terror squads in the entire world. Its specialty? Freeing hostages. If it seems to many Israelis that there has been a lull in terror attacks over the past year, it is in part because of the Yamam. They have carried out 108 joint missions with the Shabak General Security Services, which thwarted countless terror attacks. These unit members say few of the missions become public. The average age of these special ops fighters is over 30. This officer has served over 21 years in the unit. He's 42, and he's a sniper. 12 bullets, 12 bullseyes, 7 seconds. Officers in the unit live by their beepers. They can be summoned at a moment's notice. They live in constant danger. Out of every 1,500 applicants to the unit, less than 1%, 12 to 15 individuals, manage to pass the selection process and training. Afterwards, they go through eight months of specialty training, and only then are they considered warriors. This 36-year-old has served eight years in the Yamam. Previously, he was a bodyguard in the Israeli Secret Service. But he said serving in the Yamam is the exact opposite of being a bodyguard. As a bodyguard, he says, you have to wait for the enemy to come to you. In the Yamam, you go to the enemy. Every single member of the unit who has served over 10 years has been hospitalized and undergone surgery for one injury or another. This officer lost an eye two years ago in a confrontation with terrorists outside of Bethlehem. After two months, he was back on the job. Now he's a deputy commander. Captain Yoram Halevi has been the commander of the unit for two and a half years. On this year's Memorial Day, he invited all the family members of those 13 Yamam fighters who fell on the line of duty for this special memorial ceremony. It was the first ever of its kind. Halevi will be replaced by the commander of the Air Force's special search and rescue team. The Imam has been called on over the past year to deal with more criminal-related problems, including organized crime. This man has been stealing cattle from farmers in the south of the country. The Imam swooped down on his house by Hebron at night and arrested him. The unit has been operating for over 30 years. Over the past three years... The Imam has been preparing for a possible rescue operation for captured IDF soldier Gilad Shalit. They're trained and ready and waiting for the order. They say if the issue is not solved through diplomatic... ...means they hope they will be given the nod. They say their dream is that Shalit will be freed, but if he isn't... They'll be more than happy to free him.